Hey, what is going on, Virgos? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your, your November read from now to the end of November. November. Uh, it is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Uh, for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. We're going to use the, the Wild Reflections Tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what's going on for Virgos? What message do we have for Virgo for November 2024? All right, Virgo. Strap in because this is gonna this is gonna be a good one. As I'm pulling the cards and 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 the feeling that I'm getting from it, I mean, you're in for a treat. Uh, first thing I see, Virgos, is I feel like this energy, this new type energy coming in towards you. Now. I do see this new connection, and I feel like with this connection, it, it, it starts very different. It's not about physical attraction. Not that there's none there, but it's not about that. The first thing with this person that you notice, and I feel like that really kind of kind of piques your interest, is I, is I feel like this person has their shit together. You know, this, this person has their shit together, you know, with that Knight of Pentacles, or that King of Pentacles, sorry. You know, it, it, it's about someone that has all their ducks in a row. You know, and, and I feel like that doesn't just necessarily mean they're at the top of where they want to be. That just means they know where they're going. They know where they want to go. You know, I feel like this person's a bit of a dreamer, but they're also a doer. And a dreamer and a doer mixed together is someone that gets what they want. You know, you can be a dreamer and not have any motivational drive and just be dreaming all the time, but never be successful in getting to those dreams and goals because you may not have the motivation or you may not have the work ethic. You may not be willing to put in the work. That's what's different about this person. This person has put in the work. They will put in the work and they continue to put in the work. You know, and they're not afraid to share their dreams. They're not afraid to talk about it. You know, there's this fearless energy in this person. Like I said, there's a very honest energy, very fearless with that nine of swords in reverse, but very honest. You know, they're very direct. You know, and it's something I feel like you're, you're really going to be intrigued by just them telling you, sharing their, their hopes and their dreams with you. You know, their goals, their aspirations. You know, just how motivated they are and how they speak about it. It's more about how they talk about it. Like, you know, some people say, oh, I hope someday this happens. Well, this person's more of a person that just, like, directly says, this is what's going to happen. You know? Very confident in themselves. They know what they want. And I feel like that's going to be very attractive for you. You know, this person just knowing what they're after in life. You know, they're very determined. And they work their ass off to get it. It's not like they're expecting it to come to f for free. 
And then that's what I mean by this, this starting off very differently. It's more of like a mental connection. You know, just being impressive. Like, the, I feel like this person, that's the word that I get when I think about this person. It's just impressive. They just impress you. You know, and they it, it, it's inspiring. But the, the thing about this person with the Ace of Wands, I mean, very inspirational. I mean, they just... They just exuberate, you know, confidence and, and passion. You know, and like I said, the fearlessness in it all. Um, but I feel like another thing, I mean, this is different. This is different. Another thing that I feel like you're really going to be impressed by is how different they are than anyone you've ever met before. You know, and it comes very clear that you've been waiting, you know, this is what you've been waiting for. Um, we've talked about this before with Virgos. A lot of people have this notion that Virgos have high standards. You know, it's not necessarily a notion. It's more like Virgos do have high standards. A lot of Virgos have high standards, but they're very aware. The difference is, is they're very aware that they have high standards. You know, so it's like having someone show up that's just up to that level. You know, this is what you've been waiting for. Like I said, with that three of ones, that ship finally coming in. Someone that lives up to the expectations. Now, with this person, like I said, it, it's not just all work and no play. And I feel like that's another part of this person. I mean, there's so many different aspects of this person that I feel like you're really going to enjoy. Um, you know, this person showing up for you, this person... The balance that this person has. Like I said, it, it's not all work and no play. I mean, this person, they know how to have a good time. You know, and like I said, with the two of wands, they know what they're looking for in life. They know what they want. And they want someone to share that with. You know, like I said, I mean, they have their shit together, you know, monetarily, you know, career-wise, that way and then they also have their their shit together emotionally like they're looking for something real they're not looking for something half-assed and i feel like their standards are high as well another thing with this person is we got the seven of swords in reverse so i feel like there's no hidden agendas you know they're not trying to you know bullshit you they're not trying to just impress you i mean this is just how they naturally are and i feel like that's something that you're going to learn when you the more you get to know this person that this is just who they are. They're not trying to impress you. And I feel like that's kind of like, that's when this thing starts to get a little bit serious. And that's what I see with this. I feel like there's a very strong bond between the two of you that, I mean, this is a lifelong bond. You know, I, you, it, this, I, I see this getting serious. You know, with the Hereford, that strong union, and we have the family. So, I mean... I see this as a very serious connection, you know, with, with uh, huge possibilities. And like I said, this person shows up for you and I feel like that's not something you normally get. Now, when I talk about, I want to go back to that for a second. I want to go back to the standards. You know, sometimes Virgos, sometimes Virgos tend to settle because they realize, you know, sometimes they start to believe the hype that their their standards are too high or they believe that maybe their standards are too high and they, you know, he's going to ever live up to it. But it always reminds me of that quote. I don't even know if I made this one up. <laughs> I might have made this one up, but I like it anyway. Um, when you know your worth, you never, you never get shortchanged. You'll never get shortchanged. So basically, what I mean by that is, if you know what you want, go after it. This is your life, nobody else's. You know, if you have certain standards you, you want and certain things that you need in your life, it'd be silly to, to settle for anything less. And here is an example that you don't have to. You know, I feel like you are on the same page. I see a strong foundation with this connection. And I feel like, it, you know, 
a lot of it comes from the fact that the way this person is, is just that establishment of trust. Like you just feel like you could trust this person because they're just straightforward. They're a straight shooter. There's no hidden agendas. There's no bullshit. You know, who they are, who you see is who they are. You know, I feel like that's how this person has gotten this far in life. Just being themselves. And maybe no one could handle that before. You know, a lot of people don't want someone that is, is a go-getter. And I know some people are going to say, well, why wouldn't you want a go-getter? You know, some people... I'm not saying they don't want them because they're a go-getter. I'm saying some people that isn't important to them. But I feel like it is something that's important to you. And I feel like something that, oddly, I feel like it's going to be attractive. You know, you're very attracted to it. You know, someone that knows what they want and someone that is focused, but also knows how to have a good time. I mean, this is not just, you, you know, this person that's a workaholic. They know how to have a good time. They want someone to share the good times with. And they're looking for that right person. You know, just like you were. You know, and I feel like at the end of the day, all of that I've said is what it is. But what really puts the icing on the cake here is how this person makes you feel. You know, they fill up your cups. You know, they make you feel happy. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's fun to be around this person. It's exciting. It's, it's motivational. It's, you know, it's all these things that make life worth living. You know, it's what you want in a partner. And that's what exactly what I see you getting with this person. At the end of the day, is a strong partnership. That power couple. You know, this person doesn't need you. They want you. You know, that's, that's a big statement. Because a lot of relationships, the reason why they go wrong and why they fail... Is because that person needs you, but they don't want you. You want someone that wants you, that doesn't need you. And I'm not saying they don't need you from time to time. I just mean they don't need you on a general basis. They don't need, you know, and that's the thing. There's going to be times when everybody needs someone else. But if all they ever do is need you, it starts to feel more like you're babysitting them rather than dating them. But like I said, I see a lot of happiness, a lot of balance, a strong union. I mean, we have the family card. I mean, there's so many good things going on here. And then we end this all up with the chariot. You know, the, the feeling that you get that you can trust this person, that's only going to get stronger. The more you get to know them, the further this goes, and it is going far. You know, like I said, this is a bond that I feel like it's a lifelong bond. And with that chariot, it's that, you know, I see a lot of forward movement here. You know, it reminds me of the, that old that old saying, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Why would you want cake if you couldn't eat it? <laughs> you sure as hell can have your cake and eat it too. Like I said, I mean, there's so many good things going on here. And the fact that this person is nothing like anyone you've ever met. You know, they're very different, which is always exciting when meeting a new person, because if they were anything like the past people that you met, there's a reason why you're not with those people anymore. You know, there's a reason why, you know, even the ones you didn't date, you know, someone you knew from the past, there's a reason why you never dated them. <coughs> new is always good. Like I said, you know, that, that cerebral connection you have with this person, that's where it starts. But I mean, it leads into everything else. You know, there's passion, there's love, there's, there's excitement. There's journey. You know, this is the beginning of a journey for you. A new and exciting journey. And like I said, it ends with the, you know, they just make you happy. And at the end of the day, 
we couldn't ask for anything more than that. You know, a strong, reliable partner that makes us smile. You know, that makes us feel important. That makes us feel necessary. You know, we all want that. We all want to give that. We all want to receive that. You know, at the end of the day, I just feel like the overwhelming energy of this thing is just impressive. They just impress you. And the best thing about that is they're not trying to. <laughs> that is the absolute best part of that. Is that they're impressing you just by being them. Which is incredibly rare. You know, we all, at some point in our life, I feel like we all try to impress someone that we we like. Um, and sometimes it goes a little bit further than it needs to. You know, sometimes we go a little bit further. Um, I remember, I, I think I told this story before, but I remember this girl. And I was always, I always played sports. I always played hockey growing up. Canadian, yes, I know. it's It comes with the territory. <laughs> But I always played hockey, and I remember this girl, she was, you know, she was interested in me. And she learned about hockey. You know, just so she'd have something to talk to me about, that, something that she knew I was into. And, you know, we ended up dating for a bit, and I realized, see, the problem was, is after we got together, I feel like her interest in hockey diminished, even though that's how she started the conversation that, that led to us dating, you know. Um, there's nothing wrong with getting in, you know, learning something about the person that you're interested in and, and maybe taking some interest in it. But don't make it fake interest. You know, if you're, if you're into someone and say they like hockey and you start watching hockey and you have no interest in it, don't use that as a starting point to the relationship. You know, don't act like you're interested because it just, it look, it's a bad look. You know, I, I know lots of people that do that. and But I mean, it, you know, it, it, that's your way and that's your way in. But starting, you know, in my opinion, it's just starting it off in a lie. Find something that they're interested in that you can be interested in. And meet in the middle there. You know, if you find something that they're interested in that you're not interested in. If you really like them, look a little deeper. Find it a little bit more. Do your homework. And find something that you can connect with that you both enjoy. You know, there's so many times I hear these stories of guys, you know, and, and it's from guys that I know. I have a lot of guy friends, more guy friends than girlfriends. Um, and just the stories they tell me about things that they act like they were into to get their girlfriend. And they had no interest in it. <laughs> I'm just like, that's just... It never made any sense to me. Because eventually it's going to come out. And, and, you know, I want someone that I can share my time with authentically. Wow, that's just me. Anyway. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.